all right guys welcome to the channel in this video we will see how we can get started with python programming in a windows computer in order to do that first we will download and install latest version of python and then we will install a text editor visual studio code and then we will set up the visual studio code so that we can write and execute the python programs here in this video i have explained all of these things in detail step by step so here in this video, I will install Python from the official website and I will not install from the Microsoft store. And in order to do that, what I have to do is I have to remove the shortcut that the Microsoft has added between the Python and the Windows 11 operating system. To do that, we will click on the start button and we will search for manage app execution aliases and then we will click on this uh, system settings manage app execution aliases once we open up that one in the bottom section we can find app installer python.exe which is turned on we have to make it off and then app installer python3.exe it is also on we will make it off after that we can close this uh, settings window now we can download and install python from the official website so i will open up uh, the edge browser which is available in the windows 11 and then in the url section i will enter the website address as python.org and i will open up the website which is the official website of python now here we can find the downloads if i take the cursor on that then I can find the option to download the latest version of Python at the moment of this recording, which is 3.12.4. And if I click on this button, the latest version of Python will be installed. Depending on when you're watching this video, this version number will be different, but this installation process will be same. So I will click on that. The Python is now downloading. Now we will wait for this download to finish. Okay. Now the Python has been downloaded. If I take the cursor on this downloaded file, then I see this folder icon. If I click on that, it will open up the folder where the downloaded files are saved, generally in the downloads folder. And here we can find the Python file that is downloaded. Now in order to install Python, we just have to double click on this and it will open up this setup window. And here, very important thing that we have to do that is we have to check this use admin privileges when installing py.exe and then we have to check this option which says add python.exe to path so we have to check these two options and then we can click on this install now if it asks for the permission to install then click on yes and provide the permission now it will install python here we will wait for this process to finish okay now the setup was successful we can close this and i will close this folder and the browser that i have opened now we will click on the start button and we will search for python now we can find the python app and also the python ideally here you know if we click on them it will be opened up and one more thing that i want to see here is whether the path environment variable has been updated with the python path in order to check that we will uh, click on the start button we will search for cmd we will open up the command prompt and here we will type in python space minus minus version we are trying to find out the version of python that is installed in this computer if i hit the enter button it says python and then the version number if you get this message then it means that you have done everything properly python is properly installed in your computer if you don't see this message if you see a message like python is an unknown command or something like that then it means that you have installed python but not updated the path environment variable what you can do is you can uninstall python and then install the python again it's a better option than uh, updating the python path manually so the first thing that we have to do is we have to open up any browser that is installed in our computer i have uh, microsoft edge i'm going to open it up and then in the address bar we will enter the website address as code.visualstudio.com 
and after that hit the enter button it will open up the visual studio code official website and here we can straight away see the download option for windows that's because i'm browsing this website from the windows operating system this website automatically detects that and it displays the appropriate download option now if you want to download vs code for any other platforms or if you want to have more download options then you can click on this other platforms you will get more download options here we will straight away click on this download for windows now it will take us to this page and the download will begin automatically we will wait for the download to finish okay now the download is complete if i take the cursor on this downloaded file then i can see this download icon if i click on that it will open up the folder where the downloaded files are saved generally in the downloads folder and you guys can see the file here in order to install visual studio code we just have to double click on this file and here i will accept the license agreement and then click on next and here it will display the path where visual studio code will be installed if you want you can make a note of that and then we will click on this next and then next and here we will uh, select some options i want a desktop icon so i will check this and then i want to have the open with code option whenever we right click on a file or a folder and that's why i will check these two options and after that uh, register vs code as the editor for supported files uh, we will uh, check that and also add to path we will check that so after that we will click on next and we will click on this install now it will install visual studio code we just have to wait for this process to finish okay now the installation is complete we can click on this finish it will automatically open up the visual studio code at the same time i will close all the um, folders and the browser now here the visual studio code has been opened and here you can select the theme that you want to use for example i will go with the dark modern and then i'm gonna take my cursor here and then i will scroll down and then i will click on this mark done you know here you can find some options to customize the settings which you can do later if you want here i will click on this mark done and now visual studio code is ready to use so once python and vs code are installed in our computer we can go ahead and we can set up the vs code so the first thing that i do is i will uh, open up the visual studio code and once visual studio code is open what we do is we will set up a workspace for python programming in order to do that we will click on this file and then we will go to save workspace as now you have to go to the location where you want to save the programs or the projects that you are creating um, i will go to my desktop and here i will uh, uh, create the workspace now in my desktop what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna right click here and create a new folder i will call this as python programming you guys can give any name and then i will open up this folder and inside this python programming folder i will save my workspace i will call my workspace as python workspace and then i will save now the workspace has been saved the next thing that we do is we will add the folder to the workspace so that we can arrange our projects so here i'm going to click on this file and then i'm going to go to add folder to workspace and then here i will go to my desktop and i will go to the location where i have uh, saved my workspace which is desktop python programming and inside this folder i will create another folder and i will call this as hello you guys can give any name the reason why i gave the folder name hello is uh, here i will create a python program which will say hello to the user and the files for that project uh, will be present inside this folder so depending on your project um, you guys can give the appropriate name and after giving this name i will click on this add now if i expand this explorer then i can see the python workspace that i have saved 
and then I have this hello folder. So whenever you create a uh, new project you guys can uh, create a separate folder and you can uh, place the files for that project under the folder for the project. Now the next thing that I'm going to do here is I will select this hello folder that I have just created and then I will click on this new file icon. I'm going to create a new file which will contain some python code. I will call this file as hello.py you guys can give appropriate name depending on your project and here uh, the file has been created hello.py now before writing some python code what we do is we will install some extensions so i will click on this extensions and then i will search for python here we can see a lot of extensions showing up what we want to do is we want to install the python extension developed by microsoft so we will click on this install it will install this uh, uh, extension which will provide the language support for uh, python in vs code and as you guys can see the python debugger extension is also installed here we will wait for this installation to finish okay now this extension has been installed the next extension that we search for is called as pylint we search for pylint here and we will select this pylint extension developed by microsoft it provides the linting support for python in vs code we will install this once this is installed we have uh, enough extensions that are required in order to write and execute the python programs so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to hide this extension menu and here I will create a very simple Python program. Um, I will ask the user to enter his name and I will read that user input using the input function. I will say enter your name and I will save the user input in a, a variable called as name and then I will uh, simply use the print function and I will say hello and then the name of the user which has been entered here so a very simple program just for the demonstration purpose so now once we write the program we will go to file and we will click on this save and it will save the program what you can do is you can click on this file and you can check this auto save option which will automatically save the file whenever you make any modifications so you can check that also now once this is done the next thing that we have to see is how we can run this python program in order to run this python program what we can do is we can right click here in this text editor we will find run python and here we can find run python file in terminal if you click on that um, the terminal will be opened and here your python program will run so here it says enter your name i will enter my name and then it says hello anil so a very simple program and our program is working now the next way to run the python program here is if you go to the top right section you, you can find this icon which looks like this if you click on this right arrow you guys can see some options we have to choose run python file again if you click on that it will run your python program and here this icon will also become available if you click on that the python program will run now apart from the extensions that we have installed you can also install some other extensions which can help you for example you can install the code formatter for automatically formatting your python code so this is it guys for this particular video this is how we can simply set up the vs code for uh, uh, writing and executing the python programs if you like the video hit the like button if you don't like it hit the dislike button if you have anything to say then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this subscribe to the channel